Victor Campos here, and we're continuing our HTML5 project. Um, we've used jQuery Mobile as our foundation, and here's what our code looks like, and this is what the project does. We can go from page to page. We've got cool transitions, animations built in. We've got icons. Well, how do we know what uh, icons we can use and how do we know what transitions and what else can we do with jQuery mobile it's very powerful but what else can we do with it let's take a look at that answer by going straight to the horse's mouth and going over to our web browser and going to jQueryMobile.com. go to jQueryMobile.com. And we will see this is where the where all the code comes from. A touch optimized web framework. jQuery Mobile is an HTML5 based user interface system designed to make responsive websites and apps that are accessible on all smartphone, tablet, and desktop devices. It's seriously cross platform with HTML5. So you can read the, the spiel here as uh, as you want, as necessary. But the thing that we care about at the moment is this is where we would go to read the the documentation and such and to see the demos. So I'm going to take a look at the demos. And the latest version is version 1.4.0. So if you click on uh, 1.4.0 demos, this is organized by the different uh, features that you might be looking for. Now, we changed a few icons on our button previously, but um, I, you, you might think, well, what other, what other buttons do we have available? Uh, so that is going to be under icons on the left here. Click on icons, and under icons, we will see the various examples arrow right has been updated looks like that we've got a calendar audio uh, that's uh, the old arrow right now it's called a carrot carrot R there's a check mark there's a little cloud an email icon a heart there's the home button, info, etc. So we've got lots of icons to choose from. Lots and lots to choose from. Now, the version that we're using of jQuery Mobile that we downloaded from Wikipedia is actually a bit outdated. No problem. We'll use the latest version so that we have access to these new icons. I'd like to use some of these new icons and and I won't be able to unless I'm using the latest version of jQuery Mobile. So the way we do that is we go back to jQuery Mobile homepage, and you notice at the very bottom, quick access. Here is the code to access the latest versions of the code. So I'm going to copy and paste all three of these, one at a time, add them to my code, and that'll basically upgrade our jQuery Mobile. So first we've got this CSS. So we should be able to copy that. And we'll switch back to a notepad. At the top on line 6, we've got a reference to an outdated version, perhaps. So I will replace that with our latest version, which is version 1.4.0 that gives us the newer icons okay back to the site next we need the latest version of uh, JavaScript so go ahead and select that copy back to the code that JavaScript is found at the end of the document line 52 so I'll replace that Oh, it was the same thing actually, 1.10.2. And then the last one, which is jQuery Mobile 140. 
There we go. So I've upgraded to the latest versions of the code. So I will save and then go back to my example project and refresh it. And it's upgraded now. It's got a new theme. Notice the arrow is different. Transitions. So we've got theme A. Theme B. They look different. The uh, icons can change. Now that we have access to the latest version, we can... I'll go back and uh, just for fun, remember we have the icon sets. We have a bunch of icons. Just for fun, I'll put a calendar. Let's say that our button, our third button was going to take us to a calendar. So here we go, line 32, data role, data transition, etc. I'll add data dash icon equals calendar. Save it. Refresh calendar. So basically jQueryMobile.com is where we go to get the latest version of the code, where we get access to it right away, where we can see that where we can read the documentation, where we can see examples. Everything is listed here. So you want to bookmark jQueryMobile.com and visit it on a regular basis. Version 1.4.0 is is actually new. It came out, I believe, toward the end of uh, two, uh, 2013, start of 2014, around there. And it's um, the number one place to go to get the information on jQuery Mobile, a very powerful framework that we're using to create our HTML5 projects.